decided. Ah, yes, I've decided. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll have the buff bourguignon. Right, sir. Huh? The buff bourguignon it is. <laughs> Sorry, we're right out of bourguignons. Oh, oh never mind. I'll have the, uh, the pâté de foie gras. Ah. <laughs> she only comes in on a Tuesday. Right. Uh, well, how about the, um... Sole marinière with mussels and mushroom sauce. Mm. <laughs> oh. Right out of mushrooms. And mussels. And that sole marinière, the sole, the, uh, what you just said. Well, what do you recommend? There's a lovely chippy just down the road. <laughs> Barry, the gentleman's coming here to sample some high quality cuisine in a relaxed atmosphere. Yes, nothing like good quality food. I don't intend to leave this restaurant until I get some. Good for you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the filet mignon, is it rare? It certainly is in this restaurant, sir. Why is that? We don't do it. Well, why is it on the menu, then? Uh, that's a misprint. A misprint? Well, what should it say? Egg and chips. All right, then. I'll have egg and chips. You can't. Why not? They're off. Put that down. Is there anything that's actually off? Oh, yes, anything from this bottom little section here. Very well, I'll have beans on toast. Beans on toast? Beans on toast supreme, if you don't mind. Is there a difference? Oh, they're cooked in a very special way. How's that? They served on a hot plate. Da, 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 da. They served with a sprig of parsley. Mwah. Is that special? It is for Paul. Very well. Beans on toast supreme, it is. Good choice, sir. Are we all right for that? Of course we can. We're all right for the toast. We've got plenty of bread. How can you be so sure? I brought sandwiches for lunch. You run a restaurant and you brought sandwiches. Well, you've seen the menu. Point taken. Oh dear, no label. This is a can of worms. No, it's not. It's beans. Very old ones as well. Has beans. <laughs> anyway, you're wrong. That's a tin of fish. It's beans. It's fish. Listen. What kind of fish makes a noise like that? Tuna. Well, I'm telling you that's beans. And I'm telling you it's fish. Beans. Fish. Beans. Fish. fish. Will you two? Just stop messing about and get on with my meal. Yes, sir. Uh, we're just coming, sir. Well, we're not going to find out what's in it unless we open it. Did, 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 hang on. Are you mad? Why? We can't open it. Why not? Well, what if it's not beans? Well, you said it was beans. Forget what I said. If that's not beans and we open it, we've wasted it, haven't we? Well, if we don't open it, we'll never find out what's in it. Oh, yes, we will. Follow me. Uh-oh. We'll soon find out what's in this tin. Come on. Shuddington's Chowder Corporation? It's a tin soup factory. Super. No, no, no! For the last time, no! Oh, please! I'm a busy man I've got a factory to run. That soup doesn't shift itself, you know. We're very busy men ourselves. We're successful restaurateurs, us. Oh. That's nailed him. Oh, yes. And soup plays a big part in our menu. Actually looking for a new supplier at the moment. Are we? Yes. Do you sell much? Two or three bowls. Uh, gallons. Per month. Uh, per day. Right. That is a lot. It is, isn't it? Uh -huh. You want to know what's in this tin, you say? Yes, please. Well, all right. But then I really must get on. What are you going on about, two or three gallons a day? We only sell the packet stuff and we don't ship much of that. It's business, isn't it, Barry? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Oh, you've not got that rash again, have you? No, no, it's a saying. It's what they say, isn't it? Who does? Uh, people with itchy backs, I suppose. Anyway, he's going to find out what's in that tin, isn't he? How's he going to do that? Well, it's a high-tech factory, this. He's bound to have X-ray machines and things. Oh, look out, here he comes. Right. Now, where's this tin of yours? Here it is. Oh, right. Is it very powerful? Hmm? Your X-ray machine? X-ray machine? For finding out what's in the tins. You haven't got an X-ray machine. You haven't got one? No. What's the point? I always use one of these. I bet it's beans. No, it won't. It's fish. No, it's beans. Tuna. Bet you. Tuna. Bet it's beans. Tuna. Bet you. Treacle sponge. Right. Are you satisfied? I must get on. I'm very busy. There is one more thing. You couldn't reseal it for us, could you? <laughs> Two or three gallons a day, you say? Oh, at the very least. 
You better come through. Oh. It's a very impressive setup you've got here. Thank you. It's the result of many years' investment and research. I can see that. <laughs> Up to the minute computer controls and the best artificial intelligence robots that money can buy. And all for a drop of soup, eh? A drop of soup? We just don't produce any old soup here, you know. Oh? No. This is the home of Aunt Gudrun's Aberdeen broth. Where is she? Who? Oh. Aunt Gudrun. Alas, no longer with us. Got to know her, I expect. She bequeathed us her secret recipe, and we continue to produce her soup to this day. What's in it, then? Oh, well, there's salt and barley and carrots and... It's a secret recipe. If it's a secret, how do you know what to put in it? Well, obviously, I know what's in it. I have a copy of it. But Aunt Gudrun's original is kept in the safe, deep below in the factory vaults. Now then, this tin of yours. Oh. You're sure? Of course. Oh, thank you. I could do with the rest. I've got my daily tasting at three. Three? Oh, yes. Every day at three o'clock I check the soup. If it isn't up to par, there'll be trouble. Oh, dear. Why don't you go and have a nice lie down? Oh, right. no, don't go that way. Uh, no, no, no. no go, go, the, go the back way. You can do with the fresh air. Oh, thank you. Now what are we going to do? We'll have to get this machine going. Do we know how? We've only got till three o'clock. Then there'll be trouble. Nonsense. Look, I'll sort the back out. You get this lot cleaned up. Hey, what about our customer? He's still waiting for his beans on toast. Well, he'll wait. He knows when he's onto a good thing with my cooking. Hello? 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 Oh, they've gone. It. Don't ask. I just did. Somebody's been messing with this thing. Get away. Mm, all the soup settings are gone. I don't know that it's ten pound of carrots, three ton of leeks or anything. So what now? There's only one thing we can do, isn't there? Apologise, pay for the damage and leave. You know me better than that. Yes. said, Aunt Gordon's recipe is locked in the safe in the factory vault. If we can find it, we can get everything back to normal. How are you going to get into the safe? With this. What's that? My junior safe cracking outfit. I never leave home without it. When did you get that? Oh, years ago. Got it in a lucky bag. How come I've never seen it before? I've only just got the bag open. It doesn't have a key. Rubbish. 
It might be. It is a safe. Hey, tell you what, I'll go and get my junior safe crackers out for you. Should be easy. Six to the right. Two more to the left. And... That's it. Hey, buddy, I'm ready. What's that? It's my outfit. Reflectomatic anti-camera mask, reinforced, X-ray cracksman goggles, an assortment of reusable multi-sputties. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, well, never mind. But it doesn't matter, I've already opened it. Eh? What? I mean, how? What? Ah, it's a GXL B50. I'd recognise one of these anywhere. How come you know so much about it, then? Ah, remember that time Uncle Ted asked me to look after his holiday money after he'd had that accident on his way into the bank? Yes. Was it one of those safes you put the money in? No, it was one of these that fell on him. Oh, I see. Now, where's that recipe? Oh, here it is. Carrots, potatoes, swedes. Right. Just a minute. There's all the ingredients here, but there don't seem to be any measurements. We've got all the ingredients and no measurements. What's these measurements here? <laughs> That'll be them. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It gives you all the measurements, all the ingredients, but doesn't tell you how to put them together. Oh, dear. You know what this is, don't you? What? A typical security precaution. They give you all the ingredients of the recipe and don't tell you how to put it together. Well, we're stuck then. Not necessarily. Trial and error, Barry. Trial and error. Sure, that's right. Of course, I worked it out. Now I'll put all the ingredients in. You go and get a bowl and a spoon. What for? You be my guinea pig. I think I've just lost my appetite. Right, Barry, get ready to have your taste buds assaulted. Insulted. Well. It lacks a certain something. What? Flavour. Nonsense. <coughs> oh, you're right. I can't understand it. I followed the recipe. Three gallons of water, a pound of salt, four ounces of pepper, two pound of flour, and a bit of vinegar. You've forgotten something. What? The vegetables. No, no, no. I definitely remember putting vegetables in. Perhaps I could be a bit more generous. Well, he doesn't really matter. There's no time for idle chat about it. He's coming for his tasting in an hour. I know he is, Look, but... you just get that bowl clean and I'll have another go at the recipe. Hey, 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 hey. I've cracked it this time, Barry. Good. This one's brimming full of vegetables. <laughs> this is the one. All the veg cooked for 20 minutes. Tell me. Too hot, too cold, too lumpy, funny colour. 
Mm. Well, it's easy for you to mock. No, it's very nice. You haven't been slaving over a hot cauldron all day. Well, I tell you this, Mr. Noel, if you think you can do any better, try yourself. Delicious. Oh, horrible. Well, I tell you what I think of this recipe. There. Uh, Paul. What's going on here? What are you doing? Yeah, this must be today's batch. Well, uh, it is and it isn't. I wouldn't try that if I was you. There's been a bit of a mix-up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is not Aunt Gudrun's broth. No, well, you see, it was Barry's fault, really. Hey? You see, what happened? Silence! Where Aunt Gudrun's broth is dark, heavy, full-bodied, this is... light, flavoursome, refreshing. Yeah, we're very sorry. Sorry. This is going to put Aunt Gudrun's in the shade. I want to start production immediately. What do you say? I say smash him. And what do you say? I say, what have you done with the recipe, Paul? I wrote it on a piece of paper. Oh, no. What's wrong? I'll not be able to reproduce it. I've torn up the only copy I had. Why? We lost all the settings for Aunt Gudrun's, and I spent all afternoon trying to recreate it. What you just tasted was the final attempt. Paul didn't like it. Well, if you wanted the recipe settings, they're up here. What? I know, I've got them. What? I've had them all afternoon. What? I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Not listen? Me not listen? You never do. What do you I... mean, don't you talk while I'm talking? I've spent all afternoon with carrots and potatoes and everything, and there's you with them all the time. Well, there's no need to get worked up. Worked up? Worked up? I'll show you worked up. Excuse us. Tragic. You two. The food was excellent. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the decor was fair. Oh, yeah. But the service was the worst I have ever encountered. Good day. Well, you can't win them all. Hey, do you know that running around made me really hungry? Me too. What do you fancy? I don't know, but we've got a restaurant here. We must have something in the back. Yeah. Not much here. No, oh, we'll definitely have to do some shopping tomorrow, Barry. Mm. Hang on. There's another tin here. Well, what's in it? I don't know. This label's missing as well. Give it here. Ah, yes. That's definitely chicken chasseur in red wine sauce. Let me have a go. No, it's six hot dog sausages in brine. No, it's not. It is. Well, there's only one thing to do. Yeah, eat it whatever it is. Yes. Where's the tin opener? What tin opener? The tin opener. We haven't got a tin opener. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You know what this means, don't you? Back to Chuddington's Chowder Factory. <laughs> Cha-cha!